Hi, this is Bill Miller. I work at the Oak Ridge National Laboratories. You're inside the Building Technology Research Integration Center. This is our Envelope Systems Research Laboratory. And on the roof, we have a multiplicity of roof and attic assemblies that we have under test. And one of those roof and attic systems is the Thermodex system by Billy Ellis Roofing. We've had this under test for two years now in retrofit as well as new construction application. And I'd like to show you the live data for this system. We're inside the laboratory and this is my data acquisition center and I'm going to show you results for two different roof assemblies that we have under test. One is our control asphalt shingle that we can we compare all our roofing system. It's just a conventional direct nailed shingle roof with typical attic ventilation. Right next to it I have a roof system, a very unique system that's built by Billy Ellis Roofing. And what I'm going to do is compare the results of these two houses in terms of the actual heat flows that you see through the roof deck and also the temperatures. This is this system here, it says West Shingle Control. This is our Thermodeck roof and attic assembly. To the left is your control, your conventional direct deck nailed shingle roof. Both roofs have the same identical asphalt shingle that's about 10% solar reflective. And right now it's showing a shingle temperature of about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The product from Billy Ellis Roofing, it has the identical shingle product on it, same solar reflectance, about 10% solar reflective, and I'm seeing right now a shingle temperature of the area of about 155 degrees. And the beauty of the Thermodex system, as measured by a heat flux transducer, I'm measuring about 1.6 BTUs per hour per square foot heat transfer from the sun entering into the attic plenum. As compared to the conventional shingle roof, I'm measuring 21 BTUs per hour per square foot. And that's an indication of how much heat is entering into each respective attic. Both attics have soffit and ridge ventilation, so the attics are ventilated the same. As a result of that, the attic air temperature is much reduced in the thermodex system as compared to the conventional uh, roof and attic assembly. Here's the attic air temperature in this respective attic. It's 87 and a half degrees Fahrenheit as compared to 115 degrees Fahrenheit in the standard attic or your conventional attic. Outdoor air temperature right now is 93 degrees Fahrenheit. So the attic here is actually cooler than the outdoor air temperature. Whereas this one, you can see as you would expect, it would be hotter. And it's hotter because this attic does not have the same mechanisms in the roof deck as does the Thermodex system. So, what I'm showing is a very drastic reduction in the heat transfer because of the benefits you get from the Thermodex system. It controls radiation, it controls convection, and it has a little bit of insulation effect to give you some conduction resistance to heat transfer. For the dollars spent, this is probably the most energy efficient and most economical system that a homeowner could put on his home.